Howdy doody, my name is Cameron, better known as Venus Theory, and today I'm here with Rolly to show you how to get started using Rise 2 inside of Cubase. After connecting Rise 2 to your computer, you can launch the Rolly Connect app to download your software and sound banks from your Rolly account. You'll also want to install the Rolly dashboard. This can be used to edit the settings of your Rise 2 controller to respond to your performance and playing style. To use MPE, you'll also want to make sure that you've set your controller to MPE mode within the Rolly dashboard. The Rise 2 offers multiple performance modes, including MPE, multi-channel, piano, and single channel. To get started with Rise 2 in Cubase, we'll first need to add it as a MIDI device. To do this, we'll go to Studio, then Studio Setup, and then add a new Note Expression input device, and select the MIDI input that Rise 2 is using. Next, we'll need to add an instrument that supports MPE. For this, we'll just use Equator 2, which is included with Rise 2 and is fully MPE compatible. Of course, it's probably worth mentioning that Equator 2 works with any MIDI controller, so even if you don't have an MPE controller available, you can still use Equator 2 in your sessions. Once you've added the instrument in your session, we'll need to set the MIDI channel to any, since MPE uses multiple MIDI channels to provide multiple degrees of expression on a per note basis. Once we've set that up, we'll need to go into the inspector and make sure that in the note expression area, we've enabled the option to record MIDI as note expression. If you don't see the note expression panel, you can enable this in the inspector settings. It's also worth noting that Rise 2 works with any plugin, but you'll want to make sure it's in standard MIDI mode when using it with non-MPE plugins. With that ready, we can start laying down some tracks with Equator, so let's find some plucks to get started. In the browser, you'll notice that there are two different types of presets, standard presets indicated with the orange icon and MPE presets indicated with the blue icon. I like the sound of this one. So let's lay that down. Let's bring in some movement with some pads here. But because I want these to be just solid tones without the additional pitch expression, we can use the slider on Rise 2 to control the amount of pitch expression sent from the controller. These sliders control the pitch, pressure, and strike velocity, which is really handy to change the feel of Rise 2 on the fly in your session. I think that's sounding pretty good, so let's bring in a bass here. I really like the starting point of that patch, so I made a few quick tweaks and turned that into this. Which I think should be perfect for this track. That's sounding pretty solid, so I think if we just add in something like a little lead pluck here... We should be in business. Excellent. I think that is shaping up nicely. From here, the world of MPE is really yours to explore. And don't forget that some of the instruments included inside of Cubase, like Retrolog, Pad Shop, and Halion, do offer MPE support. And of course, Rise 2 works with any of your other MPE-compatible plugins to bring a bunch of new dimensions of expression to your music. Rise 2 is available now. If you want to check it out for yourself or find more information, you can do that with the link down in the description. A very big thank you to Roly for having me here on the channel once again, and of course, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something, and of course, as always, I hope this inspires you to get out there and make something awesome.